Hey everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, we'll be talking about five basic terminologies of ROS which are used everywhere and will help you enhance your skills when it comes to ROS. So let's get started. So first things first is Node. Node is basically an executable file. That executable file can either be a Python or a C++ script. Now, depending upon the usage or the project you're working on, you can either use a Python script or a C++ script and both of them together to communicate between each other. So this helps a user or a developer to use a C++ library or a Python library and can be exchanged or merged together to come up with something which is very different. Now, second of all is message. Now, when nodes communicate with each other, they communicate in one particular form. Now, it can be an integer, it can be a float, string or a character, which are the data types that you know about. Now, in ROS, they are not differentiated. Whatever you send becomes a message. All you need to do is just give that message a name and whenever you call that name, whatever data you're sending can be read or can be written. That's the best part about ROS. The third point is topic. Now topic is a platform onto which all the nodes communicate. For example, if I have a node A and a node B, they need to communicate with each other. But in general terms, you just cannot do a communication between two nodes. What happens is you need to have a topic here. Topic takes care of the communication. For example, if A needs to send something to the B, he will send to a topic and the topic will send it to B. Now the first question which will arise is why do we even have something in between which is just straightforward as A to B and B to A. That is because, for example, if I have multiple nodes here and whatever data which, be, which is being sent by A needs to be given to all of them, topic will take care of that. So this helps in having optimized communication between multiple nodes. What A needs to do is just send the data which it needs to share and all the nodes will subscribe to the topic, will get the data. So now we learned two more concepts. First one is publisher. Now publisher is the node which publishes data onto the topic. Subscriber is the one who subscribes to A so every time there is a data which has been sent by A, all of them will get an update and can access the data. I hope you're clear with the concept we just talked about. We talked about node, we talked about message, a publisher and a subscriber. Now let's try to implement this in our system and see how it really works. Now before we can even start making publisher and subscriber, we actually need to have an environment set up for this. So first you ought to do is basically create an environment uh, for the ROS to work in. So to do that, go into the terminal and then just uh, make a directory for yourself like make directory and the name can be catkin if you want, catkin work workspace and it can be of anything, whatever name you want to call it. And then once you have created the directory, you also need to uh, go inside the directory and then create one more folder for source. So make directory source, SRC. Now here on, what you do is basically just do a catkin make, sorry, catkin make. And this will create an environment for you with all the dependencies pre-installed for you. So this will take uh, like around 20 to 30 seconds and after that we'll come back. Now you can see that the environment has been con uh, created. So let's go and check once. We'll go into the files home and then see there's a catkin workspace with all the internet or interrelated connections which we need. Now after the workspace has been created, we need two basic libraries to work so that the nodes can communicate with each other. To do that, just go to the internet and search for rospy install ros. and download the package which has been designed for Melodic. Let's download the zip. If you want, you can get a clone as well, depending upon your use case and the way you're comfortable with. 
now this has been downloaded we also need standard messages so uh, std message ROS install so this will lead to again a ROS wiki which is has been uh, maintained very well since four to five years just make sure you present for melodic as well uh, melodic itself and then download the source file now since both of them are downloaded what we need to do is basically install it over the ROS now let's see how do we even install both the libraries the way we want now go into the downloads extract each of them so that way you have both of them ready here go to the home your workspace source and paste them here now after this every change that you do inside the source file needs to be compiled or built so go to catkin make i'm sorry cat can make and do cat make now this will include all the libraries that you have just imported and will create a binary for you so you can execute it whenever you want so this will take a while it might take like somewhere around one to two uh, minutes to do it so we'll come after that now since our libraries are installed let's go ahead and create one uh, package for us that package is basically a publisher and a subscriber to do that, what you have to do is basically uh, go into the terminal and go to catkin workspace that you had and then go into inside the source and then create a create catkin package and the name of the package can be a test, let's just say. Oh, I forgot, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, it's it's catkin create package. Catkin create package and the name can be tests. And once that is done, you can see here that uh, you have created a package for yourself where you'll be putting all the code here. So let's start with our first publisher code itself. So create a text file and save it inside the same directory where we created our package with 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 the name whichever you want so i'll just call it like p p dot pi because my script would be of python if you want you can have it uh, c plus plus based as well so this is how it is and then since you also need a subscriber just create a uh, a file for yourself as a subscriber as well so create a new file s.py if you want and you save it there now if I start writing the code while I'm recording it'll take a lot of my time so rather let me just write the code and come back to you and I'll explain everything which I've done so I'll go inside the publisher now in the first line here you can see that I'll tell the environment in which I need to work on so when I'll execute this script the the compiler will understand that it needs to be run as Python. After that, I have to import RawSpy and standard messages so that nodes can communicate with each other. Now there's a function called talker. In this function, what we are doing is basically creating a topic, chatter. And then the message which I'll be sending to the topic is of the form string. So as soon as I tell the message type as string, the ROS will take care of the rest. After I created the topic, I initiate a node. That node name is the node at which uh, from which the data has been sent or will be sent so that is called talker which is anonymous now i also need to tell at what rate I'll, I'll be sending the data so that the ros can take care of the scheduler and tell at what time to read and what time to write so for example i'll be writing a particular string 10 times a second uh, there is a while loop here which checks if the ROS pi is still running or not. So for example, if the uh, publisher has been shut down, it will just not send anything. But if the publisher is still running, what it does is basically creates a string and then ROS pi log file and publishes that string onto the serial. And then you wait for a while. 
which is equivalent to the number of times you want the data to be sent. That is how while loop works. And after you are done with it, keep doing it till the time the pie has been shut down. So that is how this particular talker keeps sending data onto the serial. Now when it comes to subscriber, you can see here that when the subscriber will be executed, it will be executed in an environment as Python. After that, we imported both the libraries which we need for receiving data from the serial. After that, there's a function called listener. What listener does is basically initiates a node, which basically a listener, and then subscribes to chatter. Now when, the chatter, when we subscribe to chatter and expect a string, the topic will automatically understand that he needs a data which is of string and from the topic chatter. Now, a publisher can send data and listener can listen to it. And then you do raw spin, which, which basically means that this listener will keep running till the time you exit the node. Now this callback function basically takes care of the interrupt where as soon as there is a serial data onto the serial, it takes that data and writes it onto the serial back again. So this is what publisher and subscriber is doing. Very basic. Now before we execute these two code, what we have to do is basically make them as executables. So open the terminal and uh, just write chmod plus x and then uh, publisher.py and give it all the permissions it would need. Done. And now same goes with subscriber too. That's all. So now we have both of them executable. Now to run publisher and a subscriber, we have to first create catkin or we have to first build it. To do that, go into the catkin workspace that you had and do catkin make. This will again take some time and wait for it to complete. After the build has been done, let's execute raw score. Raw score basically initializes the environment in which ROS can run. Now, go inside the terminal again and connect the build with the environment. To do that, go into your Catkin workspace and write source devil setup.bash. Once this has been connected, now we can start executing all the way we want. First, create all the publisher and subscriber as executable. So uh, go inside source and your tests and then write chmod plus x. Uh, first is publisher and then subscriber. Now these two are executables now. So just run ross run tests and then do publisher.py. Now this is start publishing. Create one more terminal. Go to your workspace. And then connect to source again. Now try running the listener part as well. So ross run tests subscriber.py. And now you can see I'm able to listen to what the publisher is sending all the time. For example, right now the timestamp is 59.96.69 and the timestamp here is again 59.96.69. So now you can see here I'm able to send and receive data from both publisher and subscriber using a topic. So this is how the concept works in ROS. This is how all the nodes communicate with each other. Now be it uh, Python or uh, Arduino or Raspberry Pi or over the cloud as well. ROS can run in multi platforms or multi machines. So if you have data which is on the cloud, then cloud can keep sending data over TCP and you can keep listening to the TCP port and keep reading the data over a particular topic. So this is the best part about ROS. Like there can be multiple nodes, they can communicate with each other without having problem of any access points or ha without having problem of uh, running out of memory because everything has been taken care. Now, I hope you have understood the concepts of ROS, the basics ones, which we talked about today. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can always let me know in the comment section below. And I'll definitely respond to you as soon as I can. And again, thanks for watching.